Last Friday, the United States banned the entry of controversial Ukrainian billionaire Golomoysky, accusing him of corruption and of undermining democracy. Under U.S. sanctions laws against corruption, Secretary of State Antony Blinken said that Golomoysky, his wife, and children would not be admitted into the United States. The sanctions specifically related to Kalamoyski's tenure as a regional governor in 2014 and 2015, with the State Department saying he was involved in significant corruption and used his political influence and official power for his personal benefit. Secretary of State voiced broader concerns about Kalamoyski, the former owner of the country's largest private bank, which was nationalized after he was accused of siphoning $5.5 billion. I also want to express concern about Kalamoyski's current and ongoing efforts to undermine Ukraine's democratic processes and institutions, which pose a serious threat to its future," Secretary of State said in a statement. According to Forbes, Kalamoyski's fortune is $1.2 billion, making him the sixth richest citizen of Ukraine. Until 2015, Kalamoyski held the post of governor of Dnepropetrovsk. The businessman accumulated his property in the early 90s with the founding of Privet Bank. The bank was the leading financial institution in Ukraine and had one-third share of total Ukrainian deposits on it. In 2016, based on the results of a multi-year investigation into money laundering, the Ukrainian government ousted Kalamoyski and his business partner Gennady Boloklyubov from Brevet Bank and nationalized the bank. In 2017, a UK court ruled to freeze $2.5 billion worth of assets owned by Kolomoisky and his business partner. In parallel with these processes, the billionaire left the country and moved to Switzerland. But after the election of Vladimir Zelensky as president, he returned to Ukraine. An important part of Kolomoisky's property is in Georgia. His activities in Georgia started in 2006 with Tel Privet Bank, after named Privet Bank. This bank operated on the Georgian market until late 2014. At the end of 2014, the bank was acquired by Bank of Georgia for 92 million lari. Privet Bank's annual loan income was 100 million lari at the time. Georgian manganese is one of the largest miners in Georgia and the largest producer of ferroalloys. The company combines several main facilities, including the Zestaponi ferroalloy plant, which produces the company's final products, ferromanganese. The group includes the Chiatura Mining Enrichment Plan and the Varciche HPP, which produces energy. In 2016, the company was fined on an unprecedented scale, more than 400 million lari. This was due to the neglect of environmental conditions. In 2017, according to a court ruling, Nicolas Chikovani, a manager at the company, was appointed to repair the damage. Following the court ruling, he was given three years to rectify the irregularities in various areas. With this decision, Galamoyski was removed from the management of the group, although he remained its owner. In 2020, the Tbilisi City Court issued a new ruling extending the term of office of the company's manager, Nicolas Chikovani, until May 2023. As it turns out, Galamoyski's activities in Georgia are not only related to ferroalloys, he is also engaged in cryptocurrency mining. The matter concerns Block Power LTD, founded in 2017. According to the financial report, the company's revenue in 2018 was 85 million lari and in 2019 was 19 million lari. According to the representatives of Galamoyski, the billionaire has invested $50 million in this project. The company acquired 3,533 bitcoins during the mining process. Currently, the price of these bitcoins is 589 million lari, although the price of these assets was several times lower during the period of their acquisition. Kalamoisky's sanctioning was indirectly echoed by the Ukrainian presidency. The Ukrainian presidency released a statement saying that Ukraine must overcome a system dominated by oligarchs if the ex-Soviet country wants to achieve economic prosperity and Euro-Atlantic integration. We are BMG. Follow and subscribe for business and economics news.